What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to dual mine Caspa and Dynex. So if that type of content is why you're here, do me a favor, hit that like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and jump into one of my rigs in Hive OS. So as you can see, we have Dynex and Caspa on a rig with 63070 TIs. And it's been running now for roughly about 45 minutes. It's been quite finicky. And just a heads up, you may or may not experience some difficulty in getting this going, but hopefully with the right instructions, we can get it going. So let's go ahead and take a look at the flight sheet here. So it really doesn't matter if you use Dynex or Caspa as your first or primary algorithm, but let me go ahead and show you the flight sheet here. So we've got Dynex selected for our first coin, and then of course your wallet, the pool you're gonna select configure in miner, and then for Dynex mining, we need to select a custom miner. Once you've selected the custom miner, you'll select setup miner config, and you're going to paste the following installation URL in this space here. Once you do that, it will auto-populate your miner name as Dynex Solve, and then it will auto-populate your algorithm as Dynex Solve as well. For your worker and wallet template, you're going to select Wallet. And for your pool, of course, you can pick any pool that you want to. Now let's go ahead and take a look at an option here so here's just an example of one that you could use uh, it's going to give you your server address and then your port here so going back over here to the flight sheet one thing that's a little bit different here is the password you're going to put in percent worker underscore name percent which is rather odd but it is required for Dynex solve at the moment by the way, at the time of recording for this particular video, we are on version 2.2.3a. And sometime in the near future, I think that we're going to have 2.2.4, which is supposed to address some of the power fluctuation issues that we see when mining Dynax. Now, for your extra arguments, I do highly recommend that you use the adjustment setting as well as no CPU and then multi GPU as well as sync. Now once you've finished that you'll move on to your second coin and you won't see an option here by default typically what you'll need to do is select add miner then you can select your second coin in this case which would be Caspa and then of course you'll select your Caspa wallet and then for your pool you can select one of the default options I recommend selecting configure in miner and then as far as your miner for Caspa is concerned, you can use whatever miner that works with Caspa. I choose to use LOL miner at the moment. And then we'll select setup miner config. Now, of course, our coin or our algo is going to be Caspa. I use the default wallet template. And then you want to give your worker name a name. And then, of course, you'll put in your pool server followed by your port. And then you could add your overclocks here in the extra arguments. However, I run into a few issues whenever I was trying to set this up initially. And let me just explain some of the things that I ran into. So whenever I first launched this, I was able to get all six cards dual mining both algorithms. However, I wasn't satisfied with the overclocks, so... I stopped the miner, made some adjustments, and then launched the miner, and the top GPU would only mine one coin. And at that point, I stopped the miner, I rebooted the rig, and two of them would no longer mine one of the algorithms. So I adjusted the overclocks back to where they were previously, and then miraculously, now all of a sudden it would only mine one algorithm on all six GPUs. So for example, it would mine only Caspa at full hash rate and would no longer mine 
Dynex. So after a lot of tinkering with it, initial, or what I eventually figured out was perhaps my power limits were just too low. So we're back up to 125 on the power limit. And by the way, these overclocks here, I'm just simply using the overclocks that I saw in hashrate.no for Dynex specifically. Now it did recommend 225 on the core and memory at 2100 and then using the locked memory command at 810. Now, once I got everything operational, it's been running fine ever since then. I haven't run into any issues. As you can see, we've been mining now for roughly about an hour. Uh, we did have initially two rejected shares upon startup on Dynex, but since then uh, it's kind of evened out and everything's working okay. So just a heads up, you may run into a lot of head scratching and a, a lot of troubleshooting to try and get this going, but if this is something that you're interested in doing, it is possible. Now for me personally, I'm not going to be dual mining Caspa and Dynex because of the profitability. I find it much more profitable to mine one coin by itself and if I were interested in obtaining more Caspa or Dynex, then I could simply swap for that coin if I so chose. But your circumstances may be different than mine. Perhaps you have free power. Or perhaps you don't care about profitability at this moment and you're just simply hodling for the long term. But let me go ahead and show you what you're looking at as far as profitability is concerned. So right now we are getting 173 hash on Dynex and 2.23 giga hash on Caspa. And we're doing this at 656 watts. So let's go ahead and jump into hashrate.no's calculator. You can see that I've got 173 hashes. Let's change this to 656 on our power. And then for Caspa, we were getting, what did we say, 2.23, so 2,230. And again, this is at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Power cost is $1.57, revenue of $1.52, and profitability of negative five cents. So, you know, perhaps it's worth it in your circumstances, but for me personally, I just wanted to simply show you guys how to do this. And I hope that you enjoy this type of content. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you on the next one.